Bennett Creek watershed is 48 square miles. It runs into a triangular area to the south and east, running along the portion of the county adjoining Montgomery County and the Interstate 270 corridor, and extends south to Sugarloaf Mountain. Bennett Creek is a watershed which ultimately merges into other bodies of water, including the Chesapeake Bay. Therefore, it is vital to ensure that the creek's water remains healthy. For several years now, the north branch of Bennett Creek, which can be located near Bartee Mountainside Summer Camp, has been severely declining. We knew immediately that there were some problems with the amount of erosion that we were seeing in our wetlands. Over the past four or five years, the stream has begun to reconfigure itself. Bennett Creek itself, the county has actually had two watershed studies and watershed implementation plans for this area. In 2004 and then in 2008, we've noticed in the whole entire Bennett Creek watershed a lot of erosion and not a lot of um, vegetation along the stream banks, which we call riparian buffers. All of those things kind of complement themselves to creating what you see in the background where you have a lot of severe bank erosion and there's no roots of the trees or the vegetation to actually stabilize those banks. What's happening is that there's something called a head cut that just keeps eating more and more and more of the banks of the stream. In fact, the stream restoration designers put pins in to try to track how much sediment they were losing. And in most sites, you might lose, you know, a, a centimeter a year, but they're losing feet. Joe Richardson, owner of Bar T Mountainside, was concerned with the health of North Bennett Creek. In search of help, Richardson knew exactly who to call. I met with him probably 10 years ago to plant uh, buffer trees. And at that time, we saw his stream, took a look and saw that it was a really great restoration opportunity, uh, but it was a significant one. I mean, it was going to require a lot of um, money to complete. Uh, and so we kind of said, hey, let's, let's keep this in our back pocket for now. We have enough to do with the tree planting and the wetland project that he took on. Joe happened to give me a call and say, hey, please come out, take a look at what has happened since you've been here last. And I said, hey, it's great you've contacted me. By the way, there's some great grant funding opportunities out here. When Richardson reached out to the Center for Watershed Protection, a grant for the restoration of North Bennett Creek was on its way. Joe Richardson partnered with the Center for Watershed Protection and applied for a Chesapeake and Atlantic Coastal Bays Trust Fund grant to do construction of the project. And the Department of Natural Resources said, we'll award this to you, but if we're gonna award it to you, you need to find money for design. Maryland Department of Natural Resources only allows funding of that grant for construction only. So the county chipped in $90,000 of all design money and some of the permitting that goes along with it to actually turn this in back into a, a really amazing stream restoration project. You have Ecotone who will actually be doing the design work and the construction of the project itself. In addition, then you have also the county who would be you know, looking through this project and watching this project through from start to finish. Construction and renovations of the creek were scheduled to begin in winter of 2018, and it will end in spring of 2019. Once renovations and construction are completed, North Bennett Creek will physically change in appearance and the water quality will improve. Thus, wildlife and insects that inhabit the creek will have a healthy life. In this case, they looked at two different kinds of projects. One is a straight stream restoration project where they're cutting out the old banks and removing a bunch of sediment and realigning the stream so that it has meanders, so that it disperses energy properly and then gets to the floodplain and slows down. A stream that has connection with its floodplain is a healthier stream. Then the other part of this stream restoration project is going to be what's called a regenerative stormwater conveyance, which is a technique to disperse energy for something that's going through a channel but that's going down a hill. So basically you have a series of plunge pools and each one of those pools disperses energy. This project is really unique. We have two small tribs that come into this project, this larger stream body here. Those two stream links, each are, one is around 750 linear feet and and then we have another reach that is around 340 linear feet. And then the main channel that you see here in the backdrop is about 1,500 linear feet of stream. So in total, we're almost talking about 2,500 linear feet of stream being restored. One of the big things that we want to do is get the water back out into the floodplain. So during stormwater events now, 
The stream doesn't get out as much as it should. We want to get it out into the floodplain, slow that water that's got a lot of pollutants in it, and then and actually treat them on our floodplains. In addition to that, we're going to have a whole bunch of wetlands along the perimeter of the stream, which again helps A number one for nutrients, as also we have a wonderful ecosystem that's about ready to rebound here with frogs and amphibians and salamanders. Now further downstream from this point, again with all of this being kind of contained within this 1500 linear feet here, this will help reduce how much sediment continues to flow downstream. And that sediment downstream kind of clogs our riffles. There's gurgling portions of the stream. You have a whole bunch of sediment that kind of filters into them and just lands on that. It actually kills the macroinvertebrates in those areas. The North Bennett Creek Stream Restoration Project is an important milestone for the health of Bennett Creek, the environment, and for students attending Bar T Mountainside. The engineering and design of this project is a much more sophisticated level. It opens opp teaching opportunities to go into middle schools, high schools, and even colleges with the amount of, of engineering design that's going into this project. And with the issues that we're beginning to see with stormwater, what happened in Ellicott City, what's happened in Frederick, understanding hydrology is becoming a much more important issue that students need to, to recognize. And, and if there's anything that can be done to mitigate it, we believe that we can teach some of the processes that need to help with stormwater runoff in the future. If you would like more information about the North Bennett Creek Stream Restoration Project, call the Frederick County Office of Sustainability and Environmental Resources at 301-600-1416 or email Don Dorsey or Shannon Moore.